Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It is good to be recording again. It's... Thank you. Thank you for staying with me uh, while I go through a couple months of uh, frequent illness and disruption to my schedule. I'm back though. I hope you all are healthy in these times and stay healthy. And uh, without further ado, we'll get right back into it. Uh, I'm not going to go through the patch notes. I've missed several patches. I have not played the game since last I recorded. So I am going to be learning a lot. But I think we're going to go back into the academy and clean up some of these new missions that we haven't seen yet. So for the next one, we have the German Raiding Squadron. Your light cruisers must sink several cru cargo ships defended by a British armored cruiser and a battle cruiser. I feel like we did this. There are a lot of convoy missions now. 20 British cargo ships are your main priority. Okay, that's a lot more than before. Light cruisers that will consist your raiding squadron and enemy armored cruiser will try to stop you. This cruiser is especially dangerous against small cruisers due to its multiple medium guns. Might be a good idea to go after the armored cruiser first before attacking the con convoy, but beware the British battle cruiser is approaching. Okay. I know normally we do the guns and fire control. What else do we have? Shells and torpedoes. Not a bad option. Lose the fire control, but get some decent torpedoes, which would be useful against an armored cruiser. Survivability. Not seeing it. And more funds. Brings us up to 16 million. 15 million. Yeah, I think we'll go for the shells and torpedoes. If the accuracy is just too poor, we might flip back. Looking at the two hulls, hull forms the same. Stability is a little bit higher. Loadability is a little bit higher. Resistance is a little bit higher. Turning slowdown is a little bit higher. And so is surface visibility, of course. Wow, those are tiny. We'll just do max size 12,000 tonner, see how that works out. Obsolete, so you can't choose it. Interesting. That's a new thing. Multiple expansion. Just max it out. I know that's usually the thing to do. And then we dial it back. Especially with all the improvements they've made to the modeling. It'll take me a little bit to go through all of this. Really, they obsolete the old ones now too. Uh, white powder lost their weight reduction. Apparently it was causing a lack of penetrative penetrativeness. Lacked impact because it was reducing the shell weight. Two powder is actually looking even better than it was before, despite the range loss. We'll go with two powder for now. Electric, enhanced. Let's 
I know the electrics are really hard for the AI to see and more likely to hit. Oh, apparently they're more accurate. Seems weird. Oh yeah, 24 inch. Okay, let's get the main ship built out. Looking at aiming speed, base accuracy, long range accuracy, communications, tiny bit of damage control. This is very marginal improvement. 307 versus 348 tons. Mostly it's the cost. Other than that, even though it's marginal, so is the co the weight increase. Whereas this sees a lot more. Accuracy, damage control. Torpedo spotting. What about this middle one? A lot less weight. I know weight will probably be an issue, so we'll go for that one. We're going to need at least one funnel. No barbettes. Question is six or seven inch guns. Penetration out to 7,500 meters. I'm not sure we'll be that accurate. The sixes might be a better option. We'll go with the sevens to start though. Maybe we'll do a split battery. Pair of sevens up forward. Yeah, we can't fit them on the sides. Hmm. Might be a reason to switch to the more basic tower. No, that still occludes that platform. Aft tower though, we can definitely move. We can get some sixes there. Casemate wise, we have threes. I'm just going to do the two. I'm not going to do that forward one. I, I don't have much faith in threes to do anything. Torpedo wise, thinking paired launchers. We'll add in another funnel there. That's really blocking them. That's just not a good location for them. How is engine efficiency very poor? Get another funnel. And we make it a four stacker. Might use submerged torpedoes now. Maybe a triple launcher back here. Four stacks. Engine efficiency isn't perfect, but it's something.
Now we look at how do we get this to where we need to be. We actually have plenty of money if we're building a single one, which is that a good idea? The barbets might actually be useful this time. Full resistance is nice. Uh, I think we're going to drop that. Citadel-wise. Armor strength is nice. So is the resistance. How much is that? It's like 3%. Anti-flooding. I do like these still. From the looks of it. Plenty of fire extinguishing bonus and I'm flooding. Heavy shells, I like the concept of that. Do we do super heavy? Or why not? Plus punch through that cruiser. Up the amount of torpedoes. That doesn't cost that much. How about the turret motors? Not costing that much either. Then we have the armor. Half inch deck, single inch for belt extended, two and a half inch belt, two and a half tower, two and a half turret, secondaries with one, turret top half. And secondaries half, they're only three inches. And that brings us down to 25 and a half knots. That seems slow. Twenty six knots, few bulkheads. We'll see how it goes. This may be a mistake. I am rusty since I haven't been playing. No, nope, that's not what I wanted to grab. Funnel, please. Oh yeah, four funnels if we want 100% efficiency, which isn't necessary. Then who has poor sector fire? Seems fine. Whatever. And off we go. So this will be the first time seeing this particular mission. I have a feeling I'm making a mistake by making this this powerful. Active deliberate fire. It's a new tooltip. Oh yeah, and I forgot, they have the secondary gunfire mode now too. Should leave them normal, leave them normal. We're looking for AP to start. We'll swap that as necessary. No AI control, full speed. Smoke to the south east. Hey, we have times 10 again. Happy to see that. We'll make use of it. So 
southeast still. Hear that. Southeast still. Our environmental's looking like minus twenty. east now, so I was hearing sound effects from the enemy fleet. Wow, oh, that, that hit percentage. Oh, we see him. Alright. Ah, the enemy cruisers over this way. We'll swing around. We won't get too close to the transports, although they shouldn't be too much of a threat. Traveling right to left. Left bearing drift. We're going to try to sneak out ahead of them. This hail of what I assume is two and three inch fire. Four inch. Ooh, that's actually dangerous. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Ammo detonation against us by a transport. Looks like we're going to need a thicker belt. What's our torpedo range? Future reference? Didn't get to see it. Okay, that went resoundingly terrible. So, I have some ideas. A delete those three inch will be useful for taking out the transports you know what we'll keep them and add more keep the seven inch keep the submerged torpedo although i want some deck ones keep the 26 knot speed shrink this down a bit 10,500 tons. And... Let's see. Move that up to one inch. I'll get this cheaper too. Question is how? I don't think turret traverse is really going to be too much of an issue. Reloading I want. Electric torpedoes I want. How much cheaper is, say, Cordite? 1%. Lidite? 2%. 
not 3%. We can get up to almost a four inch belt. I want to get two of these though. What do we sacrifice to do that? Oh, that costs absolutely nothing. Saves a little bit of weight. We lose the efficiency though. But we open up for above water torpedoes again. Allow them to shoot more forward than back. My underwater ones. Oh, they're over here somewhere. There they are. Get rid of those. And we'll trim it down. Give it proper four inch belt. Hmm, an interesting concept. We could do two launchers. Better arcs back aft than forward. Ninety four hundred ton cruiser. We haven't really reduced the cost much. We do have a lot less guns. So let's stretch it out again. Go for ten thousand tons. the single triple launcher again. Add our heavier main deck guns again. Ah, rats. We need that extra torpedo working back up to a single cruiser again. We'll keep it at 26 knots. Pretty good arcs on those, so I lost one turret to get it to where it is now. What about just adding it back? Since I'm not really getting down low enough to be able to have two of these. Stretch it back out. We'll give it some damage resistance. Want these mostly to be able to fire forward. I don't care if that's poor sector of fire. <clears throat> that gives us a whole lot more weight. Max out the belt. 
get a two inch belt extended, one inch deck, turret top, conning tower, Ooh, too much, go for four then, because we can get it uniform everywhere. Maybe the wrong strategy, but we'll we'll see what happens. And spotted south. Want them to be careful. Actually, given how it went before. Or let's go with HE. Environmentals are worse. Minus 30. Range for the torpedoes is 8.5 kilometers. Just looking at the smokestacks and how they, their particle emitters are working. Like if this is just one slightly larger one, or is it actually two individual ones? It's hard to tell. With the optimizations, hopefully this menu doesn't slow things down anymore. There we go. There's our friend. Dive straight into the formation. Maybe we'll even get lucky and we'll get the armored cruiser to accidentally hit one of the transports. Just in time, take some flooding up forward from a 7 inch hit. Oh, that's nice, times three. You can actually see better what's going on rather than just a mass of, of damage spam. Slow it down, reasonable speed, we'll go with 21. Well, it's 20.5, no, it's 21. Oh, that's the battle cruiser over there, is it? I'm doubtful. Let's not try out the new ramming mechanics yet. Another seven inch hit. Did that penetration. Oh, that's brutal. Engine damage. And there's quite a few penetrations. 
and it's mostly in the belt extended. Torpedoes have been fired and see them go out. Do a hard turn. I like the new flooding mechanics, it seems to flood rapidly, but then you pump it down. But the initial flooding is almost a shock to the ship. So, alpha strikes are a thing. Keep turning. And sinking. Protection against three inch guns. Need more than two. I'm going to go after the transports themselves. I'm thinking smaller caliber would be the better option. Maybe even go down to fours. Do the split fours. Just have more guns to fire. We'll get three inch belt extended. Pump up the belt. Well, no, let's bring it back down to four. So more uniform belt. We don't need as much speed. We'll save a lot of weight. And we can shrink it down to where we get two of them. Get rid of those. Those don't place very well anymore. Move that funnel forward. Do we even need that funnel? Yes and no. We'll get three. Three would be great. Four guns per side. Three three inch. And probably go to Cordite. Maybe even Lidite. We don't need the penetration. So we don't really need the heavy shells. Keep the Barbats. Keep the Citadel. Keep the Krupp-1. Go back down to a triple expansion engine. Takes up some of the weight. Not too worried about the deck. Not sure I can get down to where I can have three of them. Going down to natural is going to destroy the engine efficiency on something this small. I bet you can't place one like on top of that platform. Five gun broadside. Do we have the weight for that? Yes. Especially with four inch. We're only gonna have two. We'll have lots of guns. Let's 
that's not too much. And that has no arc. I think that's most of what we're going to be able to do. We could probably fit two in there. Bump up the bulkhead amount. Especially considering the damage we took, we need to be able to handle or absorb the the um, surge damage from penetrating floods. We'll go back up to 9,700 tons. Add those guns back. Or one, two, three, four, five. Our side. This will make six. Do we put in another funnel? Or is that too much? We're getting back up to 10,000 tons. Oh, just barely. Not the seven inch four inch. And that seems fairly reasonable. We'll see how this works out at least. Still not too confident of this. That's kind of the whole point of the mission is to. There is no dominating. West, they say. Alright, let's stick with HE. And moving forward. There they are. Dive right in. 20 knots. Actually, we'll keep up the speed till we get closer. Let's angle in. We don't need to get too close. Especially as we identify them, I want to check their hull penetration, which I didn't do last time. That does not look like a warship to me. Oh, the propellers don't spin. There's the warship over that way somewhere. Almost identified the stragglers. No armament on that one. No armament on that one. Playing Lynn, get the broadside firing. Close enough now that I feel more comfortable dropping down. 
Well, this one does have an armament, four inch. Can penetrate five inches at five kilometers. And we're well within that. So, okay, we're gonna be more broadside. We won't close in quite as much. Auto targeting is appropriately going after the ones shooting at us. There we go, we're getting the full set of guns firing. AP worth it at all to cause flooding. No, I'm doing a lot of overpens already. Keep it with HE then. Taking some damage now. I do miss the larger guns. They did a bit more damage per hit. Looks like the core of the formation has armament. Might be risky for our cruisers, but I kind of want to get the other side engaged. 60%, uh, that'll be 12 transports we have to sink. Oil Sovereign rapidly flooding. Target is swapping to the Gusok. Probably a good choice. Yeah, they're getting penetrations against us. She is on fire. One is not armed. That one is not armed. That one is. is mounting on our ship, not surprising. The extra bulkheads are helping out though. Maybe uh, a set of smaller torpedoes. The auto evasion freaking out. Oh, we move back to our secondary now. Now focusing on the inflexible. 
none of the others nearby have armament. We are going to do the inflexible. Let's come forward to this transport. How fast are they moving? Not very. I won't we'll get T-boned. I wish I would cut inside rather than outside. Cutting in. Some new collision sounds. No friendly fire for collisions. Uh, enemy collision damage is real though. cut this in a little bit closer. No armaments back here, perfect. Ammo detonation. That's three armed cruisers that we've destroyed and uh, we've lost one of our cruisers. This is terrible. Well, it's not done yet. Yeah, it's taking a lot of heat though. Angled in. Virulent is going down. Is it that one? Flexible is now going down. Oh, focus on this guy. He's right there. And we do need to take out these rear ones. Or unarmed ones, I should say. That puts us at four sunk. Third of the way there. swap targets all right let's split you out detach stay focused on that one I'll leave you an AI control I don't know if I should trust you with that but so be it Normament, 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 normament. Armed, armed, armed. Don't collide. engine mm. 
might burn down, especially with the poor fire control or damage control of transports. Unarmed. Our, cru our second cruiser isn't going anywhere. So we can just leave him alone. The Holland lit on fire. Oh wow, they put out most of it. Let's see, do we get more flooding with AP now? There's some flooding. There's some more flooding. I think so. AP still might be the option to get uh, more flooding chances against these merchants. Well, we took a 7 inch. Two 7 inches. Focus on Musketeer, please, Bremen. Uh, she's starting to bump down. Switch targets to the Bellerophon. Way over penetrating. There goes Musketeer. Focus on Holland now. Yeah, I think the HE is still the better option. Still plenty of flooding, still plenty of, and a lot more damage, I should say. It'll be a long episode. Alright, let's switch to the Vindictive. Come back left. Terrible has sevens in triples or doubles. It's hard to tell from here. Oh no, four to each side. Six is up forward and aft. Interesting configuration. Grab the yeoman. Get the Bremen to go in that direction. I don't need AI control. Just follow the convoy as best you can, shooting at them as you go.
<clears throat> Straighten up. Keep our nose pointed at the cruiser. Drop speed a little bit. Not that I can maintain that speed. Let's see if we need to take out 12 transports. Eight need to be remaining. One, two, three, five, six. All right, let's do a pretty hard turn to the left. Focus on sinking what's left back here. I'm going to do a hard turn to the left because of the bruiser. And this is assuming we see all of the transports. Six out of twenty. out of 20. Ignore eight of them. That's seven. Oh yeah, we'll focus on everything yeoman back and probably probably ignore the Bellerophon actually. Only because the angles aren't the best. For the left, that angle to the cruiser. Yeah, that should ricochet pretty frequently. Reduce our damage. Keep coming left. fires on this one. There we go, now we have the full broadside going. Yeoman is almost done. Back I'm gonna swap to the Prosperine and now that they have hitting ships that are not your target in the game, should be hitting both of them now. Maybe we should focus on the Blairfawn and the uh, Holland. The Blairfawn I can finish off. This is assuming I counted right. I lost count of how many we took out. There's some over the horizon. Uh, I may have uh, sold myself a little short. the Holland. Just have the Bremen try to catch up as best she can. Well, this way. Oh, 
funnels are still okay. And there goes the Blair Fawn. Now for the Proserpine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, these are classes. Not so much every single one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need to take out at least two more. But I did sell it a little bit too short. I'm gonna speed it up because of the length of this uh, this episode. Am I going? Ten knots. I'm now at risk of not being able to catch the transports. I think the answer is going to be more, more guns. Possibly larger guns. Fives probably wouldn't be a miss. I do believe the fives do a lot more damage than the fours. And, and uh, maybe a couple submerged torpedoes. Just to be able to launch 21 inch torpedoes into these transports. And with three cruisers, I think this, this mission is pretty, pretty assuredly done. Oh, that's the battle cruiser. Oh, with a devastating nine inch broadside. I'm left just a little bit. Seven kilometers. Yeah, those nine inch hits are adding up. Yeah, I really like how they've consolidated this message, message system. That works out really well. That's 4.7. Oh, we have smoke again. Oh, it might be. It might have been too little, too late. Oh, yeah, that flooding hurts. Point three percent chance hit. Yeah, I'm just trying to finish it out now. I don't think we're going to make, be able to take out the pull out Pell Oris. Yep, can't even see them. And that, I believe, is that. It'd be nice to have a after mission debrief of how close it came. I'm not disappointed. I'm definitely rusty. But I know some of these missions are pretty hard. So, we'll see. 
Um, but with that, I am going to say this has been long enough. I appreciate you stopping by, staying till the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Take care.